What is the metaverse? Have you heard the latest news from Facebook? That's right. Facebook has changed its name from Facebook to Meta. Facebook made this change because they are in the process of adopting metaverse technology and developing a new environment. Facebook is one of the leading members of the metaverse moving quickly into it. And they're building a virtual world where anyone can do anything. In that virtual world, you can create all of your fantasies and live how you'd want. The metaverse is a non-centralized network, meaning there is no one in the center regulating everything and there is no owner, which is similar to the internet. This new network is a combination of augmented reality, virtual reality, and the real world. This new world is similar because anything you change is permanent and not everything will be like our world. It has its own ecosystem, fully working economy, and a lot more. This new world can be accessed using AR glasses, virtual reality headsets, smartphones, personal computers, and game consoles. For now, the biggest roadblock holding back this advancement are the tools and the sensor technology to interact with the virtual world in real time. So who's leading it? As for now, Meta, or formerly Facebook, is leading the way to the metaverse. And they are currently in the development of this new ecosystem and they are making quick progress. They have already pre-launched a test platform called Horizon Workrooms, which can be accessed with the Oculus VR headsets. And of course, Facebook owns Oculus. Although early reviews are not very promising since the platform is still in development, If you think about it, it's a very big jump in a really short amount of time. It's alarming how fast they are building this. However, Facebook is not the only one making progress. Another tech titan who has already conquered the PC world, Microsoft, is in the development phase of their own version of the metaverse called Microsoft Mesh. This network creates an office environment where people can work remotely, allowing users to experience a real-world-like environment with their colleagues. Alongside these early adopters are Amazon, NVIDIA, Epic Games, Unity, and even Gucci and Coca-Cola who have all produced or are producing their own work for this new trend. Gucci partnered with Roblox and sold a collection of digital-only accessories. Coca-Cola and Clinique have already sold digital tokens pitched at stepping stones to the metaverse. You may be thinking, why should I care? It's all for big business. Well, for people like you, you can start using what has already been created. If you're a gamer, you already have experienced the early stages of the metaverse more than anyone else. Yes, you were using it all along. If you've played Second Life, the game by Linden Lab, then you've already been in the metaverse. VR Chat is also a game that's similar to Second Life. If you combine both Second Life and VR Chat, you'll get an environment that's close to the metaverse. Honestly, you probably won't even have to do that because your beloved Fortnite game developer Epic Games is already working on implementing Fortnite into the metaverse where you can be an avatar in the game. They've already directed their fundraising program to the Metaverse program and have raised $1 billion from investors. Roblox is also doing very well keeping up with this latest tech trend. They announced they are already building a Metaverse where people can come together within millions of 3D experiences to learn, work, play, create, and socialize. For business owners, get ready to expand your business into the virtual world where you can sell virtual merchandise or provide a unique shopping experience for your customers by using this virtual environment. As for investors, soon you'll be able to buy and sell virtual real estate within the metaverse itself. Not only that, you can build new properties and sell them within the ecosystem. Of course, cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology will play a huge role in all of this as well. For students, learning will be an immersive experience. They will be going back and forth in timelines, living the same historical events as they happened in the past. That way, students won't only read books to learn about what happened in the past. They will live alongside the people who were there when it happened. Kids will be learning about stars and galaxies virtually. Dangerous experiments will be safer 
for students. And like everything, technology is a double-edged sword. Until now, we only talked about the bright side of this technology, but there is a dark side that comes along with it. Today's technology is already causing damage to humanity, and it's increasing every single day. With how quickly tech is advancing, things make it pretty nasty. The first thing everyone is concerned about is personal privacy. It's already a big problem in today's internet, but with the metaverse, it's gonna be a bigger problem. With people interacting in this artificial world, how they do in their normal lives, everything they do, listen to, watch, read, anyone they meet, their emotional state, their health status, everything is at risk of being tracked. Facebook openly claimed that they are going to continue personalized targeting when advertising in the metaverse. Another concern is with everything becoming so easy to get without any effort, people will be fleeing reality to a virtual fake world. They can create any fantasy they want without having to work for it. Researchers have estimated that 6% of the world's population is addicted to the internet. Without a doubt, our future generation is going to be deeply addicted to technology. And you can already see how our current generation is attached to the internet, social media, and video games. The metaverse is sure to bring more unwelcome results like depression, anxiety, obesity, and addiction. Since the metaverse can be customized, each person can create their own fantasies according to their beliefs, which may be far from the truth and will lead to a distorted perception of reality with biased content, keeping them engaged with that false narrative. If we can leave the real world and instantly get what we want, it's almost certain that people are going to leave relationships for virtual ones that leave them disconnected in real life. Without a doubt, we will be more connected than ever before while also not being connected with one another. The metaverse has pros and cons like everything else in this world. We should wait before judging it and let it fully develop. So let's see where this is going. Maybe it will be a blessing to humans, increasing our productivity, connecting us with our loved ones, even when we're far away from them. Maybe it will allow us to meet new smiles and make our humanity one giant community that everyone can be a part of.